welcome back everybody this is easy and this is the attack of the week video we do this one every week well that's kind of obvious anyway this week it's uh, romper stomper uh, he had I think he missed one star of all three uh, wars so nice job to romper uh, we, we decided to throw the show three videos uh, all three of them are the same type of attack and he's kind of got a niche as far as who he attacks. He usually attacks the top Town Hall 9 or the 9.5s. Him being a 9.5 himself. So definitely has the strength to attack up to the 10s. But because the the top 9s give our 9s a hard time, uh, we usually have him uh, who is so consistent in that area right there. So in this attack here, the, the, he uses the flex attack and different variations of it. And for those of you who don't know, what that attack is, he starts off with a queen walk. Uh, once he clears out some of the queen walk, he'll send a hog rider in or something to trip the clan castle troops. Uh, he'll usually use the queen to take care of the clan castle troops with a couple poison spells. And then he will start the bowler walk on the other corner of the base. And then he'll start entering the core of the base with uh, giants, the king, uh, wizards, and then the main troops are valkyries. And um, this this attack is, is a little unique. It doesn't really have a kill squad, so to speak. Um, the, a lot of the guys will use a lot of guys do this attack in our clan. A lot of the guys will use the queen walk as the kill squad to try to pull the clan castle troop into the queen. But the the main core uh, group of troops, they, it's it has uh, the capability of taking care of the the clan castle troops anyway. Because of the troop composition, it has wizards in it, it has the, the, the giants to tank to, to try to hold off those clan castle troops for a minute. So, um, great attack by Romper. Uh, all three of these are three star attacks. All three of them were really needed. We ended up losing both wars. Um, had two war slide where I think we had won like uh, six out of eight and then we just lost two straight. Um, we've had really tough matchups. Uh, for those of you who don't know, once you get up to level 12, you are going to face the elite in Clash, unless you have, um, unless you have a, a strangely engineered clan. Uh, we have anywhere between three and five Town Hall 11s in, so we get about the same, um, and we just face some of the toughest clans you can imagine. Uh, w one war, just to give you a little history um, on what we're going through. Uh, not to complain either, because we win our share, we lose our share, but we. Uh, we started off great. I think we got 14 out of 15 three-star attacks to start off the war. And um, I was going to be busy the next day, so I, I made a comment to one of the guys in the clan that I was going to go shoot up to number two, that there's no way we could lose. There was just too many three-stars out there. And um, when I came back on the next day, they had tied us up and they had attacks left over. And just an underestimation on my part, which is one of the worst things you can do. Don't ever underestimate your opponent. It, it was, uh, and they three star our entire clan except for two players. So, bam. Uh, then we just pay, played Team Korea. I don't think they have a national sport. I think it's Clash is their national sport. I, I, that's what I've been told. And by the way they play, I, I, it doesn't it wouldn't surprise me at all. <laughs> uh, now also, uh, you hear things like. Uh, I, depending on the experience you have in the game, you'll hear things like kill squad and uh, cleanup groups and the point fives, and you may not know exactly what we're talking about. So let's break some of that down for you right now. First thing is a point five. A point five is any town hall that has their offense is going to be like one town hall ahead of their defense. So in this case here, you, this is Romper's base right here. He's a nine point five. So he has a Town Hall 10, he has level 40 heroes, he's got all these maxed out walls, I mean he's almost got uh, a max Town Hall 10 defenses except he has no Inferno Towers. So what that does is that keeps his base weight down a little bit, so he's sitting in with the top Town Hall 9s. And with his troops he can 3 star any Town Hall 9 and he can compete with any Town Hall 10 because he's got all the troops for Town Hall 10 maxed out. Um, and, and by holding off on those Inferno Towers, it, it kind of holds back the opponents we get just for him. Um, so, 
it's a strategy that everyone in the game uses. It's a strategy that we've been using for a long time, and it actually turned our clan around. We, we were struggling around uh, level 8 or 9. We had a, one level where we just got annihilated by everyone. And everyone was maxed out. We didn't understand why. And then we started looking at all the opponents that we had, and none of them had maxed out defenses. They all had maxed out troops, but the troops were ahead of the defenses. So we decided to try to join in, and we had five or six guys upgrade and go with the point five. And as soon as we had that, those five guys go to Town Hall ten, but not put the Infernal Towers on, it changed the whole dynamic of the clan, and we were able to start winning again almost immediately. So point fives are, nece are a necessity. Um, not an advocate for engineering bases or the engineer clans. I can't stand them really. Um, but the point fives aren't that. It's not getting too excessive. He's maxed out except for just not putting the frontal towers on. I think it's a smart way to upgrade your base. Um, you know, when you break into a new base or a new town hall level, it's really tough. It's tough for you to go from nine to ten because now you're fighting all town hall tens. And, but by holding off on the, the elite defenses for that town hall level, it, it, it steadies the flow of town hall tens that you have to deal with right away, especially in war. So this is the third attack that he did. Uh, now, if you've been watching the attacks as, as I've been running my mouth, which I do, uh, all of the attacks he does the almost exact same way. And that's one of the great things about this attack. Um, he starts off with the queen walk, then he puts the bowler walk in, then he puts the king and the giants in the tank in the core, and then he'll follow them up with wizards to clean up the trash buildings, and then he'll put the valkyries in. And depending on what happens with the clan castle pull, sometimes he can pull the clan castle with the hog, sometimes he cannot. Um, but depending on what happens with the clan castle pull is where those clan castle troops will go. If they go to the queen, and the queen takes care of the clan castle troops, it's, it's almost an automatic three. If they go to the core, Sometimes it's a question mark, because sometimes we get a baby dragon that ends up parking over the Valkyries, and then you don't really know what's going to happen. So, uh, anyway, attack of the week goes to Romper, player of the week, uh, co-leader, co-creator of Damage Inc., a very good friend of mine, so congrats, Romper. Um, end of the video, appreciate you guys for watching, stay until the end. If you haven't subbed to the channel yet, sub to the channel, we're at number 60, I think, or right around there. Uh, started at the first of the year, so in the first month we have 60 subs, We're trying to get to 100 so we can get our own URL. Um, like the video for me, and until next time, we got another video come out tomorrow, uh, we try to put out one every day. So until next time, it's been easy, take care.